Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So if you've never had a mobile dental hygienist come to your home, you might be wondering, well, how do you prepare for it? There is nothing you have to do, honestly. And I tell patients, do not clean your home. I don't care what your home looks like. Don't worry. I'm not even paying attention. My job is to make things as easier as possible for you. I get so many patients say, oh, well, that day's not going to work because I have to clean the house first. Don't worry about that. All you have to do is basically have a little space set up for me to be able to clean your teeth. So I come in with a patient chair that you can recline in. I have my own side table. If you have a side table for me to use, perfect. But I do have one just in case for, you know, a table to put my, my instruments on. And I do bring in my mobile compressor unit with the air, the water, and the suction that does need a three-prong outlet. So I guess that's the main thing. If I can set up in a room with a three-prong outlet, I do need two of those if possible. One is usually fine, but two in case I need to set up something called the ultrasonic scaler. That if you've ever had that before, that's a cleaning tool that sprays out a little bit of water while we clean the teeth. That is for more heavier stains, heavier plaque, and heavier tartar. I bring that along just in case, but I don't use that for everybody. Typically, I set up in somebody's living room that seems to be the most popular, somewhere on the main level, either the living room, dining room, whatever works for you. I'd say a living room is the most popular because there's a TV and if I'm seeing kids or uh, um, adults, you might want to listen to the TV. You do whatever you want, meaning if you feel more comfortable listening to headphones, or I'm um, sorry, listening to music, you are more than welcome to do that. If you need headphones, bring along your own headphones. This is all in your own home, so you can grab anything you like. For kids quite often, they like to bring downstairs their favorite stuffed animal. We put on some nice cartoons for them. They have maybe a blanket that they like. Maybe a pet wants to sit on their lap. I kind of work around you and what works best. So that's all you have to do. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Prior to your appointment, I am going to double check your address and ask you if I can park in your driveway. If it's possible, if I can, that does help make it a bit easier for me to unload my equipment or if you prefer that I park on the road. That is truly up to you, but I like to know that ahead of time. It typically takes me 15 minutes to set up. I do your treatment. Depending on what we're, we're doing, a teeth cleaning for an adult typically takes one hour, for a child, it could be half an hour or 45 minutes, depending on their age. So not too bad. And then it takes me about 15 minutes to clean everything up. And then I can either send your treatment forms off to insurance where the insurance pays me and then you would only pay the difference at the time of your appointment. And I do accept email transfer, but also credit card if that's easier for you. And I give you all of the forms needed for you to claim come tax time. In some cases, you could be reimbursed come tax time for your dental hygiene treatment. So I definitely suggest doing that. Let me know if you have any other questions. You will get the hang of it after you see me for the first time. You will see how simple, easy things are and that you truly don't have to do any work. I do the hard work for you. Once you're done, you're in your, your own home and then you can get started, do your own thing. I see patients quite often where I clean their teeth during their lunch hour. So if you work from home, you have an hour break for lunch. That's the perfect time. I can help you with that too. I truly do try to make things as easy as possible for my patients. So let me know if any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.